Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to go over my courses uh, that I've been working on um, over the last year or so. Um, I recently got into Notion and this is how I've been tracking my, my courses. Um, and I'm just picking things to track because I'm obsessed with this whole like gallery view versus board view and just being able to track my progress on my, you know, goals in life. Um, here's a list of my classes. I'm always interested in seeing like what classes people are taking. Like, you know, time is so uh, precious that when I see people taking classes, I'm like, okay, it must be worth it if, if they're putting in that much time to take a course on this or that. So, I'm always interested. I hope you guys think this is interesting on what I've been working on personally. Um, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, so first I'm just gonna be going over like what classes I'm taking, any recommendations, where I take the classes, and then I'll get into how I organize them. So as you can see here, I have a broad range. And um, so I have anywhere from like creative writing to business leadership, to VBA, which is like a coding language within Excel, and then to advertising. Like, <laughs> I I really, I just love learning. And, um, you know, I went and got a college degree and that's, that's great. But when I graduated, I missed like classes. Like, I just wanted to sit down and learn something new and play with something new and uh, things like that. So, um, these are my classes. I have been focusing a lot on computer science. I'm not quite sure where that little like itch came from. Um, in, in college, I took like a MATLAB course. Um, I don't even know if that's like technically coding, but that was my first experiencing experience with coding. And then um, through work, I heard about um, VBA. And so I decided to take a VBA course and that's how I kind of developed my um, niche and my career for VBA and n known in um, throughout my work with my my um, ability in Excel since I'm in Excel a lot and it's kind of fun to just uh, whip out cool uh, code and, and random things in Excel that people don't know how to do. So I've enjoyed that this one has definitely helped my career significantly. And then I'm kind of like, everyone keeps talking about Python, so I'm like, okay, maybe I'll dabble in Python. And then now I'm getting into Microsoft SQL. Um, so I have like three or four classes on SQL here, and that's like a database um, type coding language. I'm not quite sure. I've only watched like one or two lectures on the topic, but um, I've heard the, the name and the, and the words, so I, I listen and then I absorb and then I go learn it, you know? So, and then I have some more Excel. Um, I got this app development. I don't know, th this was like a, I don't know why I thought I was gonna be developing apps or something. I don't know. <laughs> so <clears throat> there's that. Um, I have uh, a Canva class, which I've been uh, taking just because like I wanted to be able to kind of dabble into a little bit of graphic design. I know this is like baby graphic design, but I always love like scrapbooking and things and I like balancing layouts and things. So I thought that this would be kind of a fun class to take. And then um, I also have, um, so all these courses are on uh, Udemy, except for the ones with the people. So, or like these little shots here are from the masterclass. So I do a masterclass subscription with my sister. Um, and so we've been taking some of their classes as well. So I, I did the full creative writing class with Margaret Atwood. It was phenomenal. So maybe I'll go over and say which classes, you know, I've completed and how they went. So if I go to board view here, um, I have not started, so a lot of my SQL and stuff are not started um, in Python. Then I have like 25% complete, 50%, 75%, and then completed. Now this helps me because I feel more motivated by moving the blocks over as I, as I get closer and closer to completing it. Um, so whatever makes you more motivated, cool. So 
Um, the one that's been, like, this is VBA course is, like, it's a long one. So I've been working on this for, like, at least three or four months, and I'm only 50% done. I would highly recommend, I don't have any notes because I kind of just started tracking these. I would highly, highly recommend VBA if you are in Excel significantly because you can like look like a wizard for not that much time and effort put in. And um, people will come to you. Like I get questions, like my coworkers will come to me for anything Excel and then it just, you know, I just keep coming up and I help people and people remember me and it's just career wise, it's a great move. Um, I completed the creative writing course, which I talked about. Um, this was phenomenal. I'm obviously, I'm not a writer, I'm an engineer, but I do, you know, I love Margaret Atwood. I love The Handmaid's Tale and I couldn't help myself. So I watched it. It was really good. Um, it made me realize that writing is a lot of work and I never knew that. So, I mean, I kind of thought that people were just like, they just write and, and the first draft is what they publish because they're just great writers. No, apparently that's not the case. Um, this advertising creativity class was hilarious. Okay, Jeff Goodby was so funny and entertaining and engaging. I might watch that class again. I mean, here he talked to, I mean, maybe I'll do like some of my favorite classes as like a video, but he was just so good and saying like, run towards fire, you know, don't copy, steal. And he was, the way he says the word naughty, like he was saying how he was like a naughty boy. And I just thought he was so funny. I would just watch it just for him. Um, and the, so these two were on Masterclass, so I have it tagged as Masterclass. Um, the, uh, these other ones are, are mainly on Udemy, so I, I do Udemy when they're on like flash sale. A every couple of months they do like a flash sale and all their classes are usually like 200 bucks, but now they flash them down to like 12 bucks. So every one of these classes is borderline like 11, $12. So, Right now, I'm on the masterclass. Um, this is with Howard Schultz, the old CEO of Starbucks. Um, and it's been going really well, so I'll start taking notes on that. So I recommend that. Canva's pretty cool um, if you wanna make thumbnails for like YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I'm enjoying that class as well. Um, I haven't really had a class that I hated. As long as I learn like one good thing from the class, I'm like, okay, it's worth it. Um, it's kind of like the same thing with books but I'm just like a lifelong learner and all I want to do is just take more classes and read more books and it's it's an addiction <laughs> that's for sure and this is how I spend my time especially nowadays with the I, I live in the Pacific Northwest and there's fires everywhere I don't want to go outside there's you know quarantine is a thing still and so I've been using my time productively taking some classes um, and I love to see other YouTubers like recommendations and things and how I really um, get motivated to take my classes is um, by tracking it um, in the board view and then I also have like a like a daily habit tracker that I check off and each day and I just as long as I did five minutes of the class I get a check. <laughs> Otherwise, I just kind of forget about the class or I'm like, I'll do like two hours one <clears throat> one day and then like I, I'll drop it for like a week. So um, let me show you the Udemy site. This is Udemy and uh, this is where I buy a majority of my classes. So you can kind of see here my classes and my completion. Obviously, I'm not there very far and I'll show you Masterclass. It's another awesome one. This one's expensive, but it's so well, well produced and beautiful and the people are so like important and they just talk so well and they have so much knowledge that I just find it's worth it. Um, I, I don't watch like the music ones or like basketball or gardening, but like interior design, I'd be down to watch that. Like making cocktails at home also sounds pretty fun. So I don't know, I would, I would suggest going, uh, thinking about masterclass or splitting it with somebody like I do half and half with my sister. And um, so it works well. Anyway, um, that's really all I have to show. I'll probably do an update on like how my classes are doing. Like, have I actually done them? Cause a few times like I'll buy a class and then I never touch it. 
So I'm trying not to do that. I'm picking one class at a time and going in order. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.